All right, Lowell, you ready to do it? We're ready to do it here. We're at the LTC sessions, and we're kicking it off with the only things. We only got one time to do this uh, intro, and I'm going to do it perfectly the first time. And without any further ado, I am Maximus Sack. You are watching the LTC sessions on LTC Lowell, the only public access station in Lowell. All right, without any further ado, the only things. Good evening with the only things from Lowell, Massachusetts.
Patrick sings this one.
than just my pride There's no use hiding here Learn the hard way how to keep everything inside Well, I don't know Next song is uh, entitled um, Love Turns to Hate. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh, that's right. <laughs>
Uh, this next one's a uh, another song. It's a cautionary tale. <laughs> uh, this is just, this is right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> no metaphors. I'm gonna fly this tune. Go. Ah. Uh. Once you get down. This is uh, my favorite song when I was 16.
in a little bit. Yeah, well, these guys get their act together. We get to do an interview. Yeah. It's totally not Yeah, I love that rock and roll, and I love the only things now. They are one great band. We're going to sit down with an interview from them. I don't know what they're going to say. I have no idea. It didn't happen 10 minutes ago. It's happening now. 10 minutes. If you got to take a break at Dudley's, this is a perfect time to do it. And it's a halftime hour. You're sitting down with the only things, the only things that matter. I'm Maximus Sack, I'm your host, and I'm here with Eric, I'm here with Donnie, and this is Patrick. He introduced himself all the time during the soundtrack, and I heard these guys warming up, they were kicking it, they were kicking it. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what you guys are up to. Uh, so what brings you down here, or what, how'd you guys get together in the first place? Um, through attrition, I guess. <laughs> uh, we started out, uh, with, you know, a handful of people rehearsing one song, and then uh, it just went from there, and some people got sick of it, and it, what you have is what you see, uh, minus one. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're basically just, uh, we're three-fourths of the band. Tom Southerton, who's a fantastic human being, is the drummer. Drummers can never be anywhere on time. He's at City Hall yeah. right now. Doing something important, I'm sure. Right. Uh, probably saving babies or um, drafting important legislation. Drafting babies. <laughs> drafting babies. <laughs> Originally, there was a, a guy named Matt Flynn and his uh, lady friend Alyssa who just got engaged, and they were in the band. And uh, Donnie got tired of them, or they got tired of playing with Donnie, and they left, and then they brought in Eric and myself. So really, it's like one original member and then two, two scrubs, two uh, scabs, if you will. Nice. Yeah. Daily labor. <laughs> Did you call work ready before show? It's like I need a bass this thing. Just get somebody down here. I don't care. No, we 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 rehearse and 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 work as a unit. It just uh, it uh you know sometimes people have to be at city hall hammering out <laughs> issues, and uh you know we applaud him for that. You know he comes and goes. You know we've been doing a lot of recording recently, and uh. This is pretty much how it works with recording too. Tom comes and does his part, <laughs> and comes and then he goes. Yeah. But hey, it's public access. We take what we get. So right. you guys are more like the only things left. <laughs> yeah. It wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. It yeah. All right. It's a, a maximum pun right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do here. We maximize the puns. We got to fill airtime. No dead air here. No, that's fine. Yeah, we practice in downtown Lowell, uh, which is pretty fun. So I actually wheeled my, my guitar amp um, from the alley behind uh, the last safe and deposit company um, all the way down over here, getting some very strange looks from people, um, which was pretty fun. The diners on Page Street acting weird. We uh, very much consider ourselves a public service, nonprofit, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. as it happens. Goal-driven goal organization. Right. Yeah. Now I was just talking to a judge recently about doing some community service. Could I work my time off being in your band? Probably. We could definitely use people to lift things. Eric, Eric used to have a hernia, which was his excuse to never, never pick anything up. And so we would just kind of be sweating, and he'd be like, ah, yeah, it just it doesn't feel good. i got to go sit down. But he got that fixed, so now we make him carry everything, which is it's right. fantastic. But we could use more hands. Uh, many hands make light work. Mm -hmm. Make work light, something like that, yeah. Shorthand makes life easy. A friend in need is a hand in deed. <laughs> so where are you guys? Where are you guys playing at? Where you played recently? Where are you playing soon? Um, I believe we're playing. Has that been confirmed? We're doing the Uncharted. Yeah, yeah. we're playing Uncharted at the end of September, twenty fourth. Sound right I think to it's you? Twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Yeah. And uh, so it's like next week. Yeah, it's like a week from week from tomorrow. Yeah, uh, Uncharted, which is a gallery on Merrimack Street, um, headed up by the fantastic Mike Daly and his art collective, which is phenomenal. Mike Daly, Lindsey Parker. Yes. Yeah, great team, doing a lot of great things. Yeah. But in general, uh, we, we play in Lowell. We're homebodies. Right. Yeah. Untalented homebodies who lack a booking agent. We're happy to play other places. I think for a long time we were, we were lying to ourselves and we were like, when the record is done, we were going to put like this full court press on and we will, we will go and we will, we will get booked in Madison Square Garden and, and whatnot, but it just hasn't quite come to fruition yet. Oh, Eric's yeah. really you gotta slow. you got to leave Lowell, though. 
to get to Madison Square Garden. Just a little bit of advice. Is, is there a train? Can we get there somehow? The, what's it, the Feng Shui bus, the Hanjin bus? The, <laughs> yeah. Didn't they shut that down? The Lucky Star bus? It catches on fire once in a while, but... My mom was terrified. And then when I told her I was sitting next to a lady that was carrying a live chicken, she believed me. And I never kind of told her about taking that bus ever again. It's a really fun experience, though. <laughs> yeah. We don't have great anecdotes, Eric. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. Just, we're just killing time. We're giving you right. guys a break. Because we yeah. are in an alternate reality right now. <laughs> we have time shifted, and we're, in the, uh, we're getting ready for the second half. You, did, you had some problematic notes with your harmonies earlier on, and then um, Eric, we're sorry, Tom dropping that stick was really, really deconstructive to the first set that we did. Oh yeah, you're talking. Oh, you're talking about the stuff that hasn't happened yet. It's <laughs> happening. It's happened. Oh right, Sorry, that's yeah. why I look so sweaty. Probably sweaty. watching in the background. I mean, right. it's right. replay. Right. It's just what we are. We are the words down. I forgot. I right. forgot those words that one yes. time in that one song. That's all right. I mean, we, that was in the past, yeah. right. or in the future, right? We're like, just ripping down the fourth wall as we speak. It's, we're, all, it's all about the public access at public access. It's like the last episode of Lost. It's just like disappointing. <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense. People are just going to keep rewinding it and watching it again and making sure it makes sense. It doesn't sense. explain the polar bear. We're just giving people at uh, Dudley's a chance to go to the bathroom right now. Right. Yeah. So if you're doing that. They have excellent yeah. bathrooms there as well. You, you are you not missing that any up. great, great interviewing skills here. I'm really excited that they replaced the curtain that was in the men's room with an actual door to the stall. That was like a really class move by the folks down at Dudley's. If you can make it to the bathroom. Sure. It's, you got to drop breadcrumbs. They yeah. got. Well, I've been down there a couple of times and it's been so crowded. I'm glad and happy for those guys that they're, they're doing well. Oh, it's great. No, I love that place. Great food, great beer. Not throwing out any kind of language. It's persuading people no. in a commercial nature to go down there. But it is on Merrimack Street. Right. And they do have a great <laughs> sound system hooked up to their TV. And if you don't want to watch the LTC sessions at home, you can watch it at Dudley's. It's an option. I rather, I rather enjoy sitting on the patio of Dudley's and watching the people that think that they can still cut all the way through to, to Merrimack Street, and then they get to this gate that's, that's closed, and they just look so de disappointed and dejected and have to turn back and walk of shame out of there. It's fantastic. It's one of the small pleasures in life. Yeah. Curbside, <laughs> curbside seat to uh, the tragedy of humanity. Yeah. Dudley's. Yeah, this is why we don't do ads. This yeah. is why <laughs> the LTC <laughs> Sessions does not endorse... Any public entity, because actually we've gotten letters. Please stop. I, I say support all the public entities. Yeah. Public and private. Yeah. Like like your bandmate is doing at City Hall right now. That's yeah. Right. All right. Where he's getting those grant writing skills that'll allow him to write grants. All right. He's doing it for the kids. Cool. Do you guys got anything else going on? Bar mitzvahs. Mm. Got the one nineteen. Uh, not the one nineteen. I always mix it up. The uncharted. 119, great organization. And since they're a nonprofit, I can say check them out. Yeah, you definitely should go to the 119. They're, they're not going to be around for much more in the next couple months. Um, we'll, we'll be doing something over there called Do It Together Fest in a, in a few weeks. But Yeah, yeah, talk about that. Nobody um, knows about that. So I do know it, about it. Yeah, so Do It Together Fest is this phenomenal uh, thing that uh, Stephanie Lack is going to probably head up this time. But essentially, we show up on Friday. We do a little potluck. We do a little open mic night. They throw everybody's name into a hat. And then they pull them out and they make bands. So you practice all day Saturday with your new random band that you, you met everybody on Friday. And then you have to perform 20 minutes of live music that night, which is always a treat because it's never particularly well pulled together, but it's always really, really fun. Lots of dancing, lots of yelling. Um, that'll probably be the end of November. That might be the last big event at the 119 that I get to be part of, which is a shame, but I'm excited for it. Yeah, yeah, so look it up, 119gallery.org, yep. I believe. That's the mm -hmm. website. Yeah. It's useless to give out wrong website names, so please check it out. You can Google 119 Gallery. Check it's it out in Lowell. Doing it together fast. I think it's 119 Chelmsford Street. I think it is, it it's is, not a clever name, but it's... Yeah, it, so if you just want to do it old school and navigate yourself down Chelmsford Street... <laughs> it's effective. Sometime in late November, we believe. If you get kicked out of the Gaelic and you, they won't let you into Buck's Bar, they'll let you into the 119. Ringing endorsement. For the gallery and the Doing It Together Fest. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Open my mouth once. If you get kicked out of Buck's Bar, can you, get you might not. Can you get kicked out of the club? <laughs> I don't think you can. I think it's possible. <laughs> it is a club. They do have uh, stringent Rules and mem yes, yeah, me membership member. requirements. Ooh, something about that. Like, the, I wouldn't want to be part of a club that would have me. Right. Is that you? You said that, right? Uh, Groucho Marx originally, but I, I adopted it. And, yeah. 
<laughs> Were you too hot to wear your blue shirt the whole the whole whole time? Well, uh, during the, the first set, it just got a little hot in here because mm -hmm. all the you know all the lights and mm -hmm. the fervor that I wind myself up in. You know, and these are the low wattage lights. So, yeah, it, so sorry about it. that. No, it's okay. What's up with the grill lamps the in the corner? Thing. We're not going to talk about those. Grill lamps. Grill lamps. Never mind. Oh, hey. We won't talk hey, about hey. those. No, oh, yeah. No drug references. No commercial <laughs> endorsements. And no swearing. <laughs> we should have time shifted again and gone over this in the beginning of the interview. I apologize. But I got to go talk to my boss about this. So I've got to sign some paperwork. And we're going to get back to the uh, second half of the only things. I learned something. Did you? No, uh, maybe, maybe not. Every day without learn is a wasted day. Every day without the AT LTC sessions is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and not the third Thursday of the month. It sounded better in rehearsal. Anyway, we're gonna, we're not gonna hang out. We're not gonna talk anymore. The only things are gonna take it away in their second set here at the LTC sessions, third Thursday every month. Get involved.
sweaty. That was like a jog around the block. (laughs) Eric, you look sweaty, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. This is a song by Matt Flynn, who's on the Appalachian Trail and getting engaged. Good for him.
try to you anyway Because I'd love to show you how I love it When you bite your bottom lip Or that way you fold your arms And I'll ask you to elope again Next time's a waste of charm And I'm not asking you for anything Don't wanna take you in I won't call you my ex-girlfriend But we're not exactly friends I wanna keep you from what you want to do that I've been in a long time was when your head was on my shoulder on the way back from Gilman Street or maybe just that smile when you asked if I wanted to kiss some more after saying something dumb just feeling it's a cure seeing how goddamn brave and happy you are even though I never get to see you anymore I never see you anymore I never see you anymore
that was some badass rock and roll here in Lowell. That was the only thing. Was the great Donnie McHale and some other people. There's there's a Tom in there. There's a Patrick. There's a there's an Eric. My cousin's name All is right. Eric. But yeah, so they were kicking it. They were so rocking it. And we want to thank them for coming down. I want to thank my entire cast and crew, including but not limited to Steve Maddock, Steve Bickford, Jim Phelps, Matt George's Renee Bastrak, my two intern guys. You'll learn about them next month when I learn their names. Anyway, we want to thank Dudley's for hosting us on last minute. They really came through for us. We have our hosting party there every month, maybe next month. Maybe they don't hate us too much. But anyway, this is Maximus Sack with the outro, doing it perfectly two times in a row. Goodbye.
Whoa! 